Hi, welcome to another video. So, I like tools that solve simple problems with simple solutions that you can actually use. And I have one of them here today. This one is called Sidekick. Sidekick is an open source tool that is also hosted for free, allowing you to use it even without running it yourself. Anyway, what Sidekick does is pretty simple but very effective. It automatically generates high-quality markdown context files for your coding agents to enhance their performance. It uses DeepWiki by Devon in the backend. DeepWiki basically creates documentation and an AI chat system in order for you to understand any repo. It works with any public GitHub repo, similar to Context7 or GitMCP, and allows you to use it accordingly. It is also pretty fast and already has a good number of repos indexed. It also has an MCP, and I also want to show you how you can use that because it is great. This actually uses that MCP in order to make the rule files. Here, instead of pattern matching like in Context 7, it uses an actual AI model to summarize and then behave like a chatbot that can generate example snippets and things like that as well. It works pretty seamlessly. Anyway, here it takes that and creates markdown files in order for your AI to get even better context about how any repo you want to work on functions, what tech stack is used, as well as how the backend routes and frontend routes are configured, which is pretty awesome and actually works well. If you remember, there was an MCP server called Git MCP that also did something a bit similar, where it allowed you to give it a GitHub repo, and it could index that and give you an MCP config that you could plug into your coder and allow it to get context about the repo, similar to something like Context 7. But here, it basically takes the same approach. But rather than using MCP, it uses Markdown and Context files. This approach makes sure that your AI coder has the required context from the get-go rather than asking it to run an MCP and then gather the info on its own, which is pretty good and more snappy. Anyway, this is also open source and allows you to run it locally if you want to use it with your private repos and be more privacy focused. I'll recommend you use it locally because the hosted demo sometimes works and sometimes doesn't, probably because of the deep wiki rate limits. It is free even if you host locally and won't require any API keys or anything. As I said, it actually uses the deep wiki MCP as the back end to create the markdown files. If you're wondering how it doesn't require any LLM or anything, then it's because the deep wiki MCP uses an LLM in order to allow for AI chat, and it basically uses that endpoint in order to ask it for a markdown file. So yeah, it's pretty interesting in the way that it works. Anyway, now let me show you how you can use it, set it up, and how it all works. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Micro SaaS Fast. Dreaming of launching a Micro SaaS or AI side project, but wasting weeks setting up auth, payments, and SEO? Check out Micro SaaS Fast, a Next.js boilerplate with Clerk, Stripe, Resend, PostgreSQL, and AI instructions that cut hallucinations by 90% for Vibe coding. Easy backend integration with Python, Node, and Go. It is built and used by a CTO who helped 50 plus founders to launch SaaS in the past year. You can save 50 plus hours and actually ship faster. Check now. Link is in the description. Now back to the video. First of all, we'll need to get it cloned and installed locally. Just clone it, then get into the folder, and then just run the start dev server file. It will go ahead and install the dependencies and run it for you quite easily. Once installed, head on over to the port, it shows you, and you should be good to go. Here, it's pretty straightforward. You can enter the link to the repo that you want it to index here. For example, here I'll be putting in the Shad CN UI GitHub repo, and then you can select the coder for which the rules you want. You don't need to worry. 
as it just gives you a markdown file that you can adopt almost anywhere. You can also select all of them and get the markdowns that are optimized for all of them as well in a zip file. Anyway, I'll be selecting Klein here. Now, we can just hit the Generate button and it will start to work. This is actually really snappy. It probably takes about one, two, or three minutes, which is pretty great as it doesn't take a long time. In just a bit, it will get that done, and it will just download the markdown file for you. If we have a look at this, then this looks pretty good. It is very well detailed while not wasting tokens, and this in itself is also pretty readable. Anyway, it also gives you instructions about where you need to put the file. So just follow that and put it in accordingly. Once that's done, it should work fine and perform anywhere from 10 to 30% better on your tasks. The bigger your repo is, the better performance you'll get. And the speed is also faster with this because of no MCP dependencies or anything. Another thing that I have been using a bit with this is actually the DeepWiki MCP itself. So, DeepWiki MCP is pretty great as it's super fast, and it actually uses an LLM to summarize the documentation of any GitHub repo based on the prompt or question that your coder asks, rather than something like Search, which Context7 does. For example, if you ask Context7 for the InstantDB repo and ask it how to implement authentication, then it will search for matching patterns to the query and output real chunks from the code base. Whereas here in DeepWiki, it uses an LLM to summarize the code base and then generate example snippets, even if they don't exist, in order to give better responses. So that's great and works better for public repos. Another thing that comes in handy with this is Byte Rover, which is basically a memory layer that can connect as an MCP in your AI coder and allow it to create and retrieve memories quite easily. And you can then also share those memories with your team. And this comes in handy with DeepWiki because you can like ask it to run a query and then save it into a memory, which will allow you to not always run that MCP and just access it via a memory. It's pretty great as well. That is majorly how it works. I'll recommend you give this a try because it allows you to use it for free. And this is more of an external tool that you can have to summarize and get rules for any library or anything. I was using it and found it interesting enough to share it with you guys. It increases performance for my AI coder without messing around with MCPs or anything. The only issue is that it doesn't allow you to use private repos which can be a bummer for many people. But for libraries that are already available, but your AI doesn't know about, it can be pretty great. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.